Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video of C++ for beginners. And in this video I wanted to deepen your knowledge of switch case. So if you are not familiar with switch case at all, if you haven't watched my previous video, you definitely have to do that. The link is going to be here. And in this video I wanted to give you some more examples that you can practice on and introduce some things that I haven't mentioned in my previous video as well. So in this video, we are going to build a program that is going to require from our user to enter a year and a month as well. And then our program has to write out how many days there is in that month. So how we are going to do that, let's see. But first you have to subscribe to my channel and like this video and also share it with your friends. As I explained, there are two things that we need from our user to enter. And those are going to be month and year. So let's create two variables, let's say, year and month, like this. And now I'm going to write out the message to my user so that he knows that he should enter those two values. So year, and after that, please enter month, like this. And let's store now the values that our user enters. So the first one is going to be stored inside our year variable, and then the second one is going to be stored inside our month variable. And now we have really covered everything that we need from our user. Now our program has to check these two variables and then decide how many days there is in that month of that year. And we are going to do that using switch case statement. But there is one thing that I want to mention before, before we start write our switch case. And that is, you have to take in consideration that there are years that are leap years and that have one day more than the year that is not a leap year. And there is a rule for that. So I'm going to copy the rule that, that is going to help us to determine whether a year is a leap year or not. And that is this rule here. So any year that when modulated by four gives the result of zero and at the same time, that year modulated by hundred is not equal to zero or a year, so that same year when modulated by 400 is going to give the result of zero. And this here is going to be a definition for our leap year, which means a year that has 366 days or a February inside this year has 29 days. That's why we need this rule here. So now let's write out our switch case statement. And if you haven't watched my video on switch case statement, I am going to link it here one more time because you really need to understand the switch case. And then you can come back to this video and deepen your knowledge on switch case. So switch, this is going to be the syntax of our switch case, but I'm going to delete this default syntax. We want to write it ourselves. So inside these parentheses here, I'm going to put the variable that we are going to switch through and that is going to be our month variable like this. So whichever value our user has entered for our month, we are going to cover all the potential values that our month can hold in our cases. So the first case that I want to cover is going to be the most specific one. And that is going to be our February, which means second month. So I'm going to say in the case that this month variable is equal to two which means that our user is requesting from us to determine how many days our February month has. We really, in this case, need to check whether that year is a leap year or not. And then if that year is a leap year, that means that our February has 29 days. And if not, which means if this condition here is not true, that means that our second month has 28 days. So I'm going to copy this expression here, this condition. And also, if you are not familiar with ternary operator, you have to watch that video because in this video we are going to use that ternary operator. You can do it as well with if else statement, but I want you to practice also this because you will, uh, you are going to actually come across it in your programming career. So here I'm putting this condition for a leap year and I'm going to say this question mark. And then I'm going to say if this here is true, you have to write out this line of code. So you have to write out C out. And 
if this condition here is true, that means that our year is a leap year, which means that our February, our second month, has 29 days. So let's say 29 days month, like this. Okay. And so that is in the situation where this here is true. And in the situation where this expression here results as false, I'm going to put here a column sign. And then I'm going to write out a different message. And that is going to be that this second month in the case where a year is not a leap year has actually 28 days. So after we have written this expression here, so this ternary operator, we have really write out how many, written out how many days there is in our February month. And after each case, I have to put break. So in this case as well, I'm going to put, put our break command after it. And with this example, with this case here, we have really covered our second month, which was the most specific one. Now we are left to cover the remaining months, which means ones that have 31 days and also ones that have 30 days. And here I'm going to show you something that I haven't shown you before. Let me scroll this code like this, maybe. Okay. And then there are some months that contain 30 days and some that contain 30, 31 days. And the ones that contain 30 days are following. So I'm going to write out case like this. And then the, the first month that contains 30 days is going to be April, so fourth month. And then also our sixth month contains 30 days. And then also, let's see, fourth, sixth, ninth, and then November as well, like this. And here we have written out really all the months that contain 30 days. Okay. And now I'm going to, at the end, so at this case here, write out a message. Let me copy this. And I'm going to paste it and I'm going to say 30 days month, like this. Okay. And I'm going to put break command here as well. So let me explain this part of code here because we haven't seen this part of code here before. This break statement, what it does is when your program, so when your program execution actually comes to this case here, it says, okay, my month is equal to two. So I'm going to execute this part of code here. And then it comes to this break command. And this break command really breaks the execution of your switch, which means that when your program comes to, to the first break command, it is going to stop the execution of your switch there, which means that it is not going to check any more cases. And because of that, you can really hear, so you can put more than one month. You can put all the months that have 30 days like this, and then you can write out the same message and put one break command at the end. And how that is going to really behave inside your program, in the case where a user enters, for example, month six, your program is going to check whether that month is, is equal to two and it's not going to be. Then it's going to check whether your month is equal to four, not as well. And then it's going to come here and say, okay, this is sixth month this that our user has entered. So please execute whatever code you find until you come to the first break. And that is going to be this here, which is empty, so nothing. And then this here, which is as well empty, so nothing. And then it comes to this code here and that line. So this code here contains this C out message, 30 days month. So it is going to write out this and then it really comes to this first break command and it breaks your switch, which means that it is not going to check any other cases that come after this break. Okay. So in any case, whether your user enters month four or six or nine or 11, your program is going to execute this line here and then break your switch. So with this part of code here, we have really covered all months that have 30 days. And now we are left to cover the ones that have 31 days. And those are months 
uh, let's see, that is our January, and then our third month, and our fifth, and our seventh month, like this. Let me scroll it a little bit more. Okay, and then we have as well case eight and case 10. And as well, our December has 31 days. So there are seven months that have 31 days, uh, five months that have 30 days, and one month that has 28 or 29 days. And in this line here, we are going to write out a message that is going to say 31 days month. And as well here, we have to put our break command like this. Okay, so I am going to run my program now and show you how this program behaves. So our program is asking us to enter a year and a month, let's say, the year is going to be 2020, which is current year. And then a month is going to be, let's see, it's April, so fourth. And it says that it is a 30 day month, which is April, April has 30 days. And let's run our program one more time. And let's say 2020 again. And let's say that we want to check our second month. And it says that February of 2020 has 29 days, which is correct as well. And there is really one more situation that I want to cover, and that is going to be a situation where our user enters a number that is not a valid month number. And that situation I'm going to cover with my default statement. So I'm going to write out default. And in this default case as well, I want to write out a message to my user like this. And inside here, I'm going to say not valid which means that our user has not entered a valid month number. So let's run our program. And if I enter year 2020, and for a month, let's say minus five, for example, you see that our program has written out not valid. Okay, so I hope that you have liked this video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel and share it with anyone who would like to learn programming as well. And today is May the 2nd, that's when I'm filming this video. I don't know when I'm going to publish it, probably in a couple of days. And currently we are a little bit over 900 people. So let's see how fast this channel can grow. Thanks for watching and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.